Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I want to teach you my method of turning those basic C major scale chords into something a lot more interesting and a lot more musically beautiful. Okay, I'm talking about the basic chords. C, G, A minor, E minor, F, D minor, okay? All those open position chords. And the thing about the guitar, okay, the huge advantage and the huge disadvantage of the guitar is that you can play these chords anywhere if you put a capo on. So most of you use a capo when you want to change keys. And that's something that is very easy to do, but you still get the same voicings. You still hear okay, the same basic C major scale chords, but you just hear them in a different pitch. So how can you turn them into something a lot more beautiful? Well, I've been asked uh, to play at a, at a friend's wedding. And they asked me to play Love is in the Air. They also asked me to sing, and I couldn't say no, so I had to sing. So I had to accompany myself, and... Okay, you just have these, okay, these basic chords. So I thought, how can I make them beautiful, okay? If we're in C major, first of all, I can turn C into C major 7. Now, the thing here is not to play C major 7. It's to play C and then turn it into C major 7. Take the finger off of the first string. And then you have love is in the air. Okay? And the chord becomes interesting. Okay? Love is in the air. Everywhere you look around. And then you have F. Okay? Now, how do you make F more interesting? You can play F, okay? You can play F major 7. And you can subtract another note, okay, from it. F major 7 is basically F with the open E string. Okay? But if you play this, you don't have a lot to play with, okay, finger style wise. Even if you use a pick, okay? If you add that three on the second string, it still doesn't make it that much interesting because it's still F. And it sounds very thin. So what I did was I added the A string to create F over A, okay? Because you have A inside the F chord. And I took the finger off of the third string. create this ethereal F chord. So it's an F chord with an A bass with a major 7 in it, the open E string. And it also has the sus2 because, uh, because you have the open third string. But it's not really sus2, it's add 9 because you have the A note. You have the A note on the bass. So this is now F major seven add nine over A. And it's just two fingers. Beautiful chord, right? So now I had, love is in the air. Everywhere you look around. A lot more interesting. A lot more interesting than just C and F. And note that I did not even play the C major 7 here. So, again, C can turn into C major 7. Love is in the air. Everywhere you look around. Okay? And you can use those extra notes. You can hammer on the 2 on the 3rd string. You can also play 3 whenever you want and just take it off again. 
And then you have, uh, you have the same line again, and then I had G, okay? Um, now, okay, I had G. And just playing this, okay, or this, okay, just playing G with the open E string and three on the second string, Again, it's very it's it's very predictable. It's very generic. Okay, and I don't know if I've been fooling. Hey, I forgotten the lyrics already. <laughs> uh, if I've been foolish. All right. So what I did was I turned it into E minor. I turned it into E minor. I just played G. Okay as an F shape. I took F up two frets and I played G, okay, on strings two, three, and four. I played, um, okay, it's, it's an F shape, so it's three, four, five on strings two, three, and four. But instead of putting the whole bar, okay, I played the E bass and it turned into E minor seven. And I played the open E string as well. So now you can call it G over E, or you can call it G6 over E, or you can just call it E minor 7. Okay? And, and these chords are very easy to move between. And it's completely unexpected. And Then you have F minor. That's something that I must believe in. And then you have C. So F minor remains F minor because it's a surprise in and of itself. There's no reason to change it. Okay? And then C to C major seven again. Uh, something that I must believe in. And then you have D minor or D minor seven into G. Okay, but it's there when I look in your eyes. Okay, so here you can you can turn it into interesting chords. You can play D minor nine. Okay, which is on strings two to five. It's five five three five. Okay. Because if you have, okay, it gives it this classical feeling. D minor is a very classically oriented chord. So why not just add a little bit of flavor? You can play D minor seven, which is F with the open D string. Okay, it's one, one, two on strings one, two, and three, which is great. Okay, it's a great chord. Okay, but then my problem was the G chord. I didn't want the normal G chord. I wanted to lead nicely into the C chord again. So I went for a little bit of jazziness without being too jazzy. Okay, so D minor nine. And then I turned this into G13, which is basically G6. Okay, it's G6, but in a different voicing. Okay, you can play this. Okay, and then G with the open E string. It's the same sound, basically. Okay, so is there when I look in your eyes? My problem with this chord is that there are many, many open strings. And the open string sound is not always welcome. So, I prefer to play it like this, <clears throat> okay? In the 13th variation, instead of just G6, okay? The only difference is that here, you also have the seven of the chord. So it's three on the bass, 
three, four, five on strings uh, four, three, and two. Okay? So, so, Ed is there when I look in your eyes. Love is in the air. Okay? And then this leads really nicely into the C major seven. So that was my solution to make this a lot more interesting. So you can play D minor seven. Okay? And G six with the open strings. It's really nice. It's working really, really well. And okay? then when I look in your eyes. Okay? It's really, it's a really good choice. I just didn't want too many open string sounds. That's that's the only reason I went here. Okay? You can still play. Okay? If you like the open string sound, go for it. It's not right or wrong. It was just my choice as an accompaniment for my own singing, okay? To make it interesting, to draw attention from my singing voice, okay? So we have A minor left, okay? Now, if you want A minor to be more interesting, you can basically just turn it into A minor seven. Just take the finger off of the third string, okay? Or you can play A minor with three on the first string. Or if you want to make it really interesting, you can play it like this. Okay, this is also A minor. It's A minor add nine. You can play five and seven on strings three and four. Okay? The same goes for D minor, by the way, as well. You can play D minor add nine. You can play D minor, okay? Strings one, two, three, and four. You can play it with six and seven on strings two and three. Okay, it's also it's also an option. It works really well with uh, with a uh, pick. Okay, let's say. Those chords work together. These variations can basically, it, it can musicalize your basic chords, okay, your basic C major scale chords um, without any effort. And it works about 95% of the times, okay, depending on the key, okay, depending on the, the scale, the mode. But 95% of the times in the basic chord setting, it works, even with a capo. Try it, you'll see. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now, have fun.